I'm Kun, we're here at CIS and we're going to be talking about the Turn 10 feed. In its simplest terms, what is it? In its simplest terms, it's probably the most competitive edged rough turning tool out there on the marketplace uh, at the moment. Um, what you've got is you've got a, a five cornered insert, double sided insert, so you've got ten corners on, on your insert, which just gives you a very competitive edge cost first and foremost. The beauty of the thing is, um, because of the geometry, because of the shape of the insert, we can put it into two styles, or two different styles of holder. One is the HD holder for a higher depth of cut of up to 7mm. The other one is uh, a high feed holder where you can take up to 2mm depth of cut but at substantially higher feed rates like high feed uh, milling in, in, in effect uh, and feed rates of up to 2mm a rev which is phenomenal. So what's the compromise? The world's best selling insert is still a CNMG 12. So why would you use this instead of a CNMG or even in like an S style? The compromise, I suppose, really, uh, the, the question I always get asked is what happens about a 90 degree shoulder? Well, this is aimed at metal removal rate. So if you've got a substantial amount of metal to come off of the billet, then you want something that's going to remove metal quickly. And there's nothing else out there that will do it as quickly as this. Mm -hmm. Yes, the compromise is you need to put a second tool up potentially to, for, the, for the 90 degree shoulder. But you overcome that by the metal removal rate on the, on the main diameter. Mm -hmm. um, why is it so much quicker? Is it purely down to the approach angle or is there some special geometry and coating as well? It's the approach angle. Um, it's the same thing that we all know from high feed. It's about chip thinning. Uh, you're thinning the chip down so you can afford to feed higher. Um, yes, there is a certain amount of service speed increase because of some of the new coatings that we've been working on. One that we'll talk about a little bit later on. Um, and, and that's basically it. We have a nice geometry on the top which will break the swarf very nicely but it also prevents crater wear. Is there any uh, loss in depth of cut, the fact you've got more edges? No, not really. I mean, I, I don't know of anybody really who uses a CNMG 12 with a, a 7 mil depth of cut. Mm -hmm. uh, most people are saying about sort of, you know, 2 mil, 3 mil maybe max. Um, so, no. I imagine this is great for shaft work, automotive components, but what grades and geometries do you have for what materials? At the minute, it's purely aimed at steel. Mm -hmm. um, and the grades and the geometries are aimed that way but we are working on a, a stainless steel geometry as, as we speak out in Japan. And Tungaloy, you were formed as a turning company, you've got a vast range, it's now even bigger. Absolutely, you know, to this day we are still an extremely strong turning company. Um, there are now other products hot on the heels um, because obviously we're part of a, a bigger organisation now. Um, and um, we, we, you mentioned CIS earlier there, we have a, a very strong relationship with CIS. I, I particularly work with CIS a lot uh, across all five divisions. Uh, we have this wonderful facility here in High Wickham, which is their product prove-out centre, where um, we can come and do things like this to show off new products. But probably of more value is the fact that I can go to uh, customers and uh, say to them, well look, this is what we think we can do. If you can provide me with the material, I can take that material away and prove that, prove out what I'm saying we can do, what we say we can do, without impacting on your, your production, impacting on your, your productive time, your manufacturing time. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good partnership. Thank you very much.